Right, so what we're going to look at here is how we can use a nested if statement. So we can have an, uh, an if statement within an if statement. And uh, the example we're looking at here is uh, a ride at an amusement park where there is a height limit of 105 centimetres and an age limit of 8 years. So a user has to be taller than 105 centimetres and also 8 years or older. Now um, we want the program to actually respond uh, if they don't meet either of those criteria we need to say well you can't go on the ride but we also need to tell them why they can't. So um, if you look at the way the program works right now uh, we test both the height and the age limits in one statement using the AND command. Uh, so we're just going to change that. So what we're going to do first of all is we're just going to test the height. So if the height is greater than our height limit, so greater than 105, um, rather than printing you may go on the ride, what we're going to do instead oops, is we're then going to go ahead and test the age because there's no point testing the um, the age straight away. Hang on, let me rephrase that. Um, if the height fails, sorry, we're straight away going to say you may not go on this ride. Um, you are too short. Okay, so that's if this first test finishes. The fails, sorry. If it passes, we need to run the second test. So there'll be a nested if statement. So you notice we do another if statement, but this time it is indented because it is happening within this first if statement. So if the age that they enter is greater than or equal to the age limit of 8, then we're going to do something. So you can see there that if this, where I've got to right now, means both tests have been passed. You may go on the right. Now, if the age is not greater than or equal to the age limit, then we need something else to happen. So there's the else that is if that is not true. So if it's false, then we'll print um, you are too young for this right. Okay, so let's just explore that logic a little bit. So the first condition is testing the height. Now if they fail the heights test, in other words they're too short, this condition will respond as false, which means all this indented stuff down here will not occur. So we just go straight down to the else statement and it prints you may not go on this ride, and we know that means they are too short. If however this first condition that's highlighted is true, then we go in and do a second test, which is all this highlighted stuff. And if the age is now old enough, in other words it is true as well, then they've passed both tests, they may go on the ride. However, the else statement means here that the age is not old enough, then we will print an appropriate error message saying you are too young. So let's just test that. So we say enter your height in centimetres, so I'll say I am 110, um, but hang on, we can't see where I'm going here. Oops. Close that and rerun it, sorry, so we can actually see. Here we go. So we enter our height, we are tall enough, but say we're too young. There you go, we get the appropriate message. Um, say that we're too short, Oops. Um, but we are old enough, we get the appropriate message. And lastly, if we um, are good enough for both, Oops. then we get a message coming back. Alright, so uh, that gives us a pretty good um, look at nested if statements.